Hello guys. My name is Julia and I live in Scotland. If you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm narrating my heartbreaking life story with the first word. Trust. Trust on your life partner is compulsory for every relationship. Your love relationship will be strong if your trust level is at 100%. There's one thing that needs to be understood that trust is key for your healthy relationship. But don't trust anybody blindly. A blind trust can ruin your whole entire life. But by the time you come out of the deception, you've lost many important things in your life. Your mental state is completely destroyed. But now you learn a great lesson of life and many more do things you never thought of doing. And all these things happened to me in this whole period. I hope you guys like my story and learn a lesson from it. The story is from five years ago when I met my husband Olive. He, he was the cousin of a very close friend of mine. They were very good friends with each other more than cousins, but I had never met him nor had much interest in knowing about his cousin. But my friend wants me to meet him and date him because at that time, I was the only one in the group of friends who was single. All the other friends were married or they were all dating someone. So she always insisted that I meet him and choose him as my life partner. There were also another reason for her insistence. His cousin had seen and liked me a lot long time ago, but I never met him. My friends often told me that he likes me. When I came to know about his desire arose. I said to my friend, invite your cousin to your birthday party. I'll meet him. My friend's birthday party was held next week. It is true that I was excited to meet my lover and these are natural feelings. So that night was the first time I met him and really liked his company. He was such a nice person more than those words that I had listened to from my friend. I talked to him continuously for two hours but did not get bored at all while I have a very bad habit of not being able to talk to anyone for a long period of time and get bored with other people. Very quickly. After talking to Olive, I felt like I could spend hours with him without any hesitation after that night. Talk to each other regularly. Whenever I came home from the office. My first task was to talk to Olive until I talked to him. I did not get any peace. At first, I used to talk to him once only as a friend and became so close to him that I used to feel irritated if he talked to anyone other than me. And soon this friendship turned into love. He already loved me. And his love made me fall in love with him. And we soon decided to marry each other. I thought that after marrying Olive, my life would become a heaven and he would always love me like this and take care of me. But time changed very quickly and my happiness changed after two years of marriage and then my blind faith in Olive broke. After two years of marriage, everything was going well. There was never any quarrel between us. I considered myself so lucky that my husband loves me very much. But all this was part of a big conspiracy of my husband. It was my husband's 28th birthday tonight. And I wanted to give him a very nice surprise to make him very happy. I just want to make him happy the same way. He keeps me happy after marriage. I had been preparing for his birthday for a month. I've been saving up for months for his birthday so that I can buy him a very wonderful present. I organized a birthday party in the best hotel in town and invited all her close friends. But that night, my husband did a very thing. He came to the party, cut the cake and asked all his friends to enjoy the party and took me away from there to a nearby bar. I've wondered why he took me there like this. I kept asking him the same question. Why did you bring me from there to this strange place? At first, he was not answering anything. I said that our guests are waiting for us. It is not appropriate to leave them. We should go back to them. But he was not responding to anything. I said as if he was not listening to anything. I said after reaching there, he said only one thing to me. I want to spend this night with you. The place where my husband took me. 
There were drunk people around me who were constantly drinking. I didn't think that place was suitable for me to stay there. I said to him, we should go home. But before going home, we should go back to the hotel so that we can say goodbye to our friends and then we'll go home and have a wonderful time with each other. I wanted to convince him in any way to take him from here, but he did not listen to me after that. My husband put alcohol in front of me knowing that I don't drink. At first I refused to drink. But my husband's insistence I drank after drinking the first glass. My husband put another glass of wine in front of me. After that, I'll feel very bad. So I get frustrated and asked him, why are you doing all this to me? But my husband started smiling and said, I want you to have a good time with me tonight and we have a great time together. I think you don't want to make your husband happy. I loved and trusted my husband so much. But I couldn't understand his changed behavior about why he was doing all this and tonight was his birthday. So I didn't want to do anything that what made him angry. So I drank another glass of wine on his request. But after the second glass of wine, I was going to get out of control. I started to faint. After that, my husband started to give me a glass of wine one by one and I continued to drink. The last thing I remember about that night was that my husband asked me if I loved him. And my answer was yes. I love you more than anything in this world. After that, I don't remember anything that happened that night. When I woke up the next morning, my whole world had changed. There was a person laying next to me who was fast asleep. At that time, I never saw that person in my entire life. I didn't have courage to pick him up and ask who is he and how did I came here. I didn't even know that house. Whose house is it? My bag and all my things which belonged to me scattered in this room. And I felt like I had come from heaven to hell. I picked up all the things and left the man's house before he woke. I left his house and didn't recognize the place. I did not know where I was. I called my husband. He picked me up my phone on the first call ring. He started asking me in a real worded voice. Where are you? I've been looking for you since last night. And I came to the police station to write your missing report. He asked me about the place I sent him my location on the phone and he came to to pick me up in the next 10 minutes on the way. My husband did not ask me any questions. And I was also not in condition to answer any of his questions as I myself did not know what had happened to me last night. As soon as I reached home, my husband hugged me tightly and started crying and asking me where I was at the end. He was very worried about me. He was looking for me the whole night and his eyes were very painful saying that I also started crying and I didn't know how to tell him that I had spent a night with someone whom I have never seen in my life. I was really in guiled. Then I suddenly remembered that the last thing I was drinking with my husband in a bar. I immediately asked him where he took me after drinking. I don't remember anything. He said I was not conscious. So I brought you home. Then you went to our room to fall asleep. Then I went back to the hotel where we had given a birthday party for our friends to say goodbye to them. But when I came back, you were not at home. I was worried. So I called all your friends and asked them if you were there. But you were nowhere after waiting all night. I was going to the police station to file your missing report. But on the way you called me, then he asked me, where did you go? Last night? Babes, I had no answer of any of my husband's questions. I just told him that I don't remember anything that happened last night. And after saying that I came to my room and took a shower after which my husband did not ask me any questions. So he had cooked a very good meal for me. I ate a meal with my husband and went back to my room and started thinking what happened to me last night. I had a lot of questions and I had no answers. All these thoughts were driving me crazy. I was afraid that if my husband asked me this question again, how would I answer him a whole next day past? And my husband's behavior was exactly the same as before as if nothing had happened. The next morning, I was sleeping in my bed when my husband entered the room and shouting and woke me up. He showed me a video from which the ground fell.
out and from my feet in the video. It was the same person whom I slept that night. Now, my husband knew the truth that I slept with someone. He started shouting and accusing me. I was very sad at the time and started crying. It's not my fault. I don't know how that happened. I was drunk and I don't remember how I got to that person's house and how he is. I told my husband that you were the cause of all this. You got drunk. If you had not done that, all this would never have happened today. He listened to all my words and became silent. After some time, there was a call on my husband's phone. My husband picked up the phone and kindly listened to the person who called him and hung up the phone. Then he said that now these people will blackmail us and take a lot of money from us. We're both in a lot of trouble. After hearing this, I started crying even more. After that, my husband came close to me and hugged me and told me that this is a difficult time, but we both will get out of it soon. Don't worry after this. He said how much money is in your account at this time? I got silent and had no response. He said they are us for a huge amount of money. And if you don't pay them, they leak this video and our owner will be lost. My husband asked them for four days to arrange the money. I had a good amount of money in my bank account which was given to me by my father before he died. Besides this, the house I lived in was also worth a lot, which was my own property. I decided to withdraw all the money from my account and sell the house to arrange the money. The next morning, my husband and I left the house to withdraw money from the bank. But in the meantime, my husband received a call from someone and he left the house in a hurry and told me that you should go alone, withdraw money and come back home. I left home and was on my way to the bank. On the way, I saw the same bar where my husband forced me to drink on his birthday night. I did not know why I was doing all this and there was no purpose to go to that bar in that place. I met the same person whom I loved that ridiculous night at the same time. This person also saw me and started coming closer to me, seeing him coming towards me. My whole body started shaking. I was very afraid of what he would say to me when he came near to me. But when he came to me, he said a very strange thing to me that I did not even imagine. He said, do you like my service ma'am? He had such a taunting smile on his face. He was such a charming young guy of age 20 to 23 younger than me before I asked him anything. He started laughing and said, you're such a lucky woman that you have a very loving husband who really cares for your entertainment more than that. He also makes video on demand to see if you are being entertained. Well or not. I was looking at him with surprised eyes and I was not understanding his words at all. I said, what rubbish do you say from his words? I understood one thing that my husband is doing some very sinful things behind my back. Then I asked the guy if he can give me some of his precious time. I have to ask him some things on which the guy said to me all my time is yours. But you have to buy it with your precious money. I understood that I have to pay him to talk to him to know the whole truth about my husband. He was a cold boy who many women paid him to spend time with. My husband paid this guy to spend the night with me and then made a video of himself so that he can blackmail me by showing the video and take all money from me. Making me drunk on his birthday night was a part of him conspiracy. And when I was completely unconscious after drinking alcohol, he left me at this cold boy's house. I probably never believe the words of this boy because I loved, I trusted my husband blindly. But then he showed me a contract on which my husband signed. This guy told me whenever he does this kind of work with someone, he always signs a contract and this contract has proved to be very important and useful for me. I immediately came back home after knowing the truth about my husband. He was already at home waiting for the money, but he received divorce papers instead of money. And I also filed a case against him to blackmail me for money. This cold boy helped me a lot in all this situation. As a good friend, my husband got punishment. According to law today, 
Many years have passed since that incident and I never met my husband again. The punishment he received was not enough for his crime because I loved him so much. His betrayal was a mental torment for me. But during all this time, I was supported by this cool boy. And today he is my best friend. I'll be grateful for his persistence.